Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Knowledge Center. So in my previous video, I have given the basic formulas of time, distance and speed. I hope you all watched it. If not, just go through the link available in the description. Because that is a basic thing which we need to know before solving the problems on time, distance and speed. So in this video, uh, we shall discuss about few problems which are going to give you an idea of how to solve the problems okay so one thing i want to highlight here that if you want to solve any problems first you need to understand the question properly okay so let us take few examples to understand so let's see how those questions has to be read how it has to be understood and then how we can implement those formulas to get the answer so let's uh, move on for the first simple question uh, that is something like this on screen you can read the question now a person crosses a 900 meter long street in just 5 minutes. So important thing, first we need to note down it. So eat. a person crosses 900 meters long street, a road, in just 5 minutes. In 5 minutes. Okay, this is the given information. So this is distance D, this is time that has been given. What is this, what is his speed in kilometer per hour? So, if he travels that street 900 meter distance in 5 minutes, then what is his speed in kilometer per hour? So, this is what the unit. So, now you can recall the previous video where I just told you how to convert the units. Meter per second can be given in terms of a kilometer per hour. So, in this question, they asked you to just find the speed, but in kilometer per hour, you need to just concentrate on that. So let's understand what is the formula first. So we have basic formula to represent to recall that I will just tell you. You remember you just recall this triangle. Uh, this is just a short trick to get the formula, right? So in this triangle here D and I have S and T. So distance is equal to the product of speed and time. So in the question distance is given time is given and they are asking you to find, they ask you to find just speed. But you need to be very careful here. If you just substitute this value and get the answer, for example say speed is equal to, how can you write it now? D by T. So D is 900 meters and time is 5 minutes. This will be giving you a wrong answer. Because formula is correct, but you need to be very careful that the question is asked to find speed in kilometer per hour, okay? But here they have given meters in minutes, per minutes, okay? Uh, I have given one more formula to convert that. That is meters per second. And if you want to convert that into kilometer per hour, we used to, means we have, and we are converting smaller units to larger units. Then I need to multiply that speed into 18 by Five. This is what we discussed in the previous video. Okay. So, this is what we need to apply here. Then we get the answer. We get the perfect answer. But this is applicable only for this unit. That is meters per second to kilometer per hour. But in question, it is given meters and here it is given in terms of minutes. So, first thing what you need to do here is convert this in seconds. Okay. And then you can apply this logic to find the speed okay so let's see how to convert this five minutes has to be converted into seconds so we know that one minute is nothing but 60 seconds similarly for five minutes how many seconds therefore i can say five into 60 that is 300 seconds so you can see here you can rewrite this rearrange this like this five minutes or in bracket you can take it as 300 seconds okay so now we got that time in seconds and distance in meters and now you can apply this logic speed into a speed find speed that is distance by time so distance is 900 and the time is you need to consider seconds if you are considering meters this should be time should be in meters if you are considering kilometers then time should be in hours okay so i converted that into second so I'll take it as 300. Okay. So this is 3. 
the speed what we got for this formula this problem is 3 the unit is meters per second okay but they asked you to find the speed in kilometer per hour okay so now apply this apply this logic and get the answer in kilometer per hour let's see how to do that so the speed is 3 meters per second now i want to convert that into kilometer per hour so that speed into this has to be done so 3 into 18 by 5 once if you do this we get that speed in terms of kilometer per hour therefore the speed is equal to 3 into 18 by 5 so we can say that to 8 3 is a 24 so 54 by 5 this will be the answer for this question so the speed in kilometer per hour is 54 by 5 or you can just simplify it 5 1 is a 5 10 is a 50 Point 0.8 okay so 10.8 kilometer per hour this is the answer so the question looks very simple but it is very tricky one simple trick is they have changed the units always you need to understand the basic concepts that's why i told you go through my previous video to understand the basics okay so you can convert the values of meters per second to kilometer per hour you cannot convert that meter per minute to kilometer per hour here they are given meters and minutes so that's why you need to understand the question very carefully you need to read it very carefully so once you understand this then you can convert it if you directly substitute this in the given formula then you get wrong answer okay i hope this is clear for you now let's take one more example okay let's say take the one more example so before trying to get the answers with the faster just in a fraction of seconds first understand the concepts so that's what the intention of this video i'm just making it very clear for you to understand the concepts okay then afterwards we can try for getting it faster okay so let's see next question uh, so look into the screen now the question number two is something like this an aeroplane covers a certain distance so i'll write it on the board i'll just write the important points on the board you can read the question carefully so first read the question carefully write down the major points aeroplane covers a certain distance means they don't we don't know what is the distance certain distance at a speed of 250 km per hour in five hours okay so they are given speed 240 sorry 240 km per hour in five hours so we know the time we know the speed this is speed and this is time so we can find out d right so that let's see later let's finish up the question to cover the same distance in one two by third of hours so now i want to cover the same distance in this time the so time is one hour two by three minutes it must travel at what speed okay so what should be the speed so very simple thing here here conversion is not there just you need to understand speed distance and time relation okay there is an aeroplane which is traveling at a speed of 240 km per hour in 5 hours okay to reach that distance so uh, if this time is this and it need to cover the distance within this time now instead of 5 hours the time is given like this within this time it should cover the distance so what should be the speed so one thing you can understand speed has to be increased okay speed has to be increased because we are just reducing the time so we are re reaching that distance at a less time so speed has to be increased right so to find this speed first you need to know what is the distance we are reaching so using this information we can find d okay distance is equal to s speed into time right so 240 km per hour is the speed into time is 5 so this will be 5 0 5 4 is the 20 5 2 is the 10 12 so 1200 km is the distance so aeroplane is covering 1200 km okay at so and so duration now the same 1200 km has to be reached in just this hour so what is the speed how much of speed it, it is going to be considered so that's what you need to find again the same formula we use the same formula d is equal to s into t but we need to find speed therefore s is equal to d by t so 
D is 1200, that's no problem, it's in kilometer. And time is 1, 2 by 3 in hours. It is given as 1, 2 by 3 in hours. So we can just make it simple. You can write this 1, 2 by 3 as, I'll tell you how to write it. 3 into 1. And here 1 plus, this answer should be added with 2. 3 into 1 is 3. 3 plus 2, 5. So 5 by 3. So this is the simple mathematics. You can write this as 5 by 3. So the hour time is 5 by 3. So I write the time here. 5 by 3 means I can take it into numerator. So simplify this 0, 5 1 the 5 2 the 10. We get 2 here. 5 4 the 20 and 0. Simplify this, multiply this 3 0, 3 4 the 12, 3 2 the 6, 7 20. So the speed required is 720 kilometer per hour. This will be the answer. So as I told you already, if I reduce the time, the speed has to increase. Earlier speed was 240, now speed is 720, it has been increased. Okay. So this is how the concepts has to be understood. Okay. So in next video, I am going to give you some more important or simple questions, but concepts, concepts is important. Understand the question properly and then try to solve it. Okay. If you understood and if it is clear for you, like the video, share among your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.